it's me, Tree. Hello, welcome to my thing again. This is my 2017 year in review, sort of. We are in peak chaos right now. So, first things first, the, the kind of less happy things. The political situation. It continues to be a thing. And probably will for a while. But it has informed many things I've done this year. I've had a lot of pain, and I've had a lot of anxiety, and I've had a lot of depression. But again, these have informed things, and I think maybe made things come out better. And unfortunately, my father was ill much of the year and then died. But in the, the time we had together this last year, I think we became closer and we began to understand each other better. I was even able to spend a long period of time visiting with him. So while that is upsetting and sad, it's also good. So happier things because not everything is doom and gloom. I brought in the year with Critical Role and the <laughs> murdering of Thor Thordak, murder of Thordak for New Year's. I concentrated on my digital art this year and I'm relatively pleased with it. I spent more time in my world of a glittering venery. I became more politically active and started a hashtag resist project which if you follow me on Twitter you've seen it and made explicitly political art I was able for the first time ever to donate to a project for awesome I was in two art shows I was in art in circles and then I was in the light show which was a black light show I was accepted to at least 12 cons and was able to table at nine for various reasons some of them did not happen, and was part of at least four local art markets. I took up needle felting and revisited my spinning via my spinning wheel. I saw Sherman Alexi and Margaret Atwood both speak at the first annual Untitled Town Book Festival. I fell in love hard with Vast, and I fell in love hard with Sagas of Sundry, both Dread and Madness. I got to hug a Skeksy. It was a cosplayer, but still, I got to hug a Skeksy. I met amazing artists I never thought I would meet, like the designer from Sorbet Jungle. I met a lot of friends and friend-shaped people in my various nerd verses. I actually went to a panel at a con I was tabling at, thanks to Gnome literally kicking me out of my booth. I rekindled my love of D&D. &D. Now all I need to do is to find people to play with. I asserted my gender identity with fierceness and pride. I tried to educate others. I taught two art classes. I made my first zine. I started following a bunch of really amazing artists online who inspired me greatly. I had the first fan art of two of my OCs made. I participated in Inktober for the third time National Novel Writing Month for like the 10th or 11th and Vlogmas for the first time. I became the municipal liaison for my NaNoWriMo region. I still think that might have been a tactical error. I learned how to use Discord somewhat. I'm in the process of creating a Twitter bot. Zombie Bunny will have a Twitter yet. I started a webcomic. I adopted a second cat. I started making YouTube videos again. Lucky you. And I have recorded the first podcast in a collaboration with Gnome that comes out, the first episode comes out Tuesday. Incidentally, because of that, I also learned how to use Adobe Audition. So that's been my 2017, more or less. There's been huge swaths of suck, but there's been really good parts too, and we can only hope that they continue to be better, or at least to make the best of what we have. Tell me some of what was good and bad about your gear in the comments. And remember that you can find me at Tentacle Maid Studios or Tentacle Maid 
pretty much everywhere. And I will see you in the new year. So remember to do good, be kind, be brave, courage.